We are discovering new creatures every day, but they're mostly quite ordinary, like a new type of fly. But that's not to say we haven't discovered some downright disturbing creatures that make your stomach turn, and even have you thinking that they're not from here. From jelly-like blobfish to lipstick-wearing fish, here are 20 shocking creatures that are not from this planet. Number 20. Mutated Creature Put your hand up if you've ever found something disgusting or unidentified in a body of water. Honestly, because we know so very little about what's in our waterways, it's actually not all that uncommon. But imagine coming across this mutated creature. While it doesn't appear to actually be authentic footage, it does make you think about the type of mutated creatures that probably exist in the dark depths of the ocean. A video was uploaded to YouTube that appeared to be some kind of teaser for a low-budget science fiction movie by Neil Blomkamp. The shaky footage showed someone driving in a car, speaking with someone else, before pulling over on the side of the road. Once out of the vehicle, they spot a strange, fleshy creature in a puddle of water, with plastic underneath it. It has pig-like flesh, shark teeth, alien-like limbs, and a long, fleshy tail. It also has rough, spiky hair on its back that doesn't extend to the rest of its body. It's definitely a shocking creature that is not from this planet. It also won't take you long to spot the strange stamp on the creature's body. It reads 18.12 AGM Heartland. It's not made clear what that means, but it might be a date like December 18th and the name of a corporation. Honestly, it's just plain weird. What do you think the creature looks like? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Star-Nosed Mole If you were to come face to face with a star-nosed mole, you might say it's one of the most absurd creatures you've ever seen. It actually looks quite cute as well, but then you see its face and you might just change your mind. Star-nosed moles are the butterfaces of nature. Now, they are, they are small moles from North Africa. They have a star-shaped touch organ on their face known as an Imer's organ, and it has over 25,000 tiny sensory receptors positioned on 25 appendages. Honestly, it is a sight to see. Star-nosed moles are pretty much blind, so it was always thought that their long nose with this unique organ was used to detect electrical activity in prey animals. But that wasn't found to be accurate. It's actually believed that the star exists to help it exploit small prey by smelling it out. It appears to be such an effective organ that the Nature Journal said that the star-nosed mole was the fastest eating animal. From the time it identifies something as food to the time it eats it, only about 120 milliseconds would pass. Their brains need just just 8 milliseconds to decide if something is edible or not. They also have excellent senses of smell underwater. They blow air bubbles onto objects and then inhale them to carry the scents back to their nose. As far as the average mole goes, the star-nosed mole is definitely one of the more absurd creatures. Number 18. Paku Fish to be honest, Paku fish don't look all that out of the ordinary as far as fish go. The name Paku refers to several omnivorous South American freshwater species, and they are related to the piranha, although they don't have similar teeth. The teeth of a piranha are razor sharp and pointed, and they have a noticeable underbite. In contrast, Paku have straight, square teeth and less of an underbite, and their teeth are pretty much what make them so incredibly unusual. We are so used to seeing small, sharp, pointed teeth on fish, and the Paku is the complete opposite of normal. Their teeth are not that much different from ours, and it's downright disturbing to see. The shape of them, the size, and for some people, the color, are all way too human-like to be normal. These fish are also much larger than the average piranha, weighing up to about 88 pounds and measuring nearly 4 feet long. Their size, horrifying teeth, and the fact that they eat meat are all reasons I hope to never see one of these fish in person. Number 17. Blobfish Perhaps one of the most disgusting fish you'll ever see in your life, if you have the misfortune to see one, is the blobfish. Looking more like a pile of melting fat, it's not exactly going to win any fish beauty contests, that's for sure. 
Very few people have ever seen a blobfish in person, and those who have are probably having nightmares. One found off the coast of New Zealand in 2003 is the subject of many conversations since it's now floating in a container in an ethyl alcohol solution. A museum manager said it looks like an 85-year-old Mr. Blobby, and while that's quite insulting, it's actually pretty true. These fish seem like all their features have melted into each other, and they're truly quite comical. But here's the kicker. They don't always look like that. Blobfish are deep sea fish found in deep waters around Australia and New Zealand. They live about 2,000 to 3,900 feet or 600 to 1,200 meters below the ocean surface, where the pressure is up to 120 times greater than at sea level. They don't have a lot of muscle mass, but they likely don't need it where they live. Their primary food source is anything that floats in front of them, like deep ocean crustaceans. When they end up caught in trawling nets, the decompression damages the fish as they come up from their extreme depths. This makes them appear more blobbish than they actually are in their natural habitat. Number 16. Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats are interesting, to say the least. They are three-inch-long rodents from eastern Africa with wrinkly, pinkish-gray skin that turns a purple-brown shade toward the back and tail regions. They also have short, broad heads, strong jaw muscles, and massive incisors that they use to dig tunnels. Even before you see pictures and video footage of them, you just know they're going to be quite interesting to look at. You might even think they look like something else. These rats have no external ears and only tiny eyes, which means they're basically blind. They rely on their sense of smell a lot and can also sense ground vibrations and air current movement to help them make decisions throughout the day. Naked mole rats are also burrowing rodents, so they eat the underground parts of plants for sustenance and water. These absurd critters live in large colonies in underground burrow systems. They're hard workers, I'll give them that, because they can create tunnels up to 2 meters deep with lengths of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers, sometimes even longer. These tunnels connect them to nests, chambers, food sources, and toilet areas. With everything they need underground, they are very rarely seen by people. Number 15. Proboscis Monkey There are so many different primate species out there, and all of them have some unique features, although very few of those unique features stand out quite like those of the Proboscis Monkey. We'll let you point out what the feature we're talking about is. Yep. It's the nose. These long-tailed primates from swampy and river areas in Borneo have huge noses that definitely stand out, although it's mainly the males that have these long appendages. They tend to be smaller on female proboscis monkeys, and they are upturned on young monkeys. Proboscis monkeys are pretty standard in most other ways, though. They live in groups of around 20, with one male and around a dozen females. Males weigh about 44 pounds, and females are half that at about 22 pounds. When they procreate, the babies are born singly with blue faces within a gestation period of six months. Perhaps what makes them stand out amongst other monkeys, aside from their noses, is how they move through the water. They are essentially bipedal in that they will wade upright through the water rather than moving on all fours. Unfortunately, proboscis monkey numbers are in decline. Even though government protection measures are in place, habitat destruction has had a devastating impact on them. Number 14. Goblin Shark just when you think the most terrifying shark to encounter in the water is a great white shark, we then learn about the goblin shark. Known as a living fossil, they're a rare deep-sea shark with a lineage dating back about 125 million years old. They have pink skin, a flat snout that's way too long for their face, and strange jaws with nail-like teeth. For as much swimming as they probably do, they're also not exactly toned. They have flabby bodies and small fins. These sharks are so absurd looking, they're almost comical. Although, you wouldn't be laughing if you came face to face with one. These terrifying sharks grow up to about 14 feet long, with one captured in 2000 thought to be even longer than that at about 20 feet. Fortunately, we don't come into contact with them often because they live at depths of up to 330 feet or 100 meters. Sometimes they might dive down to over 4,000 feet for a short period. They feast on crustaceans, fish, and cephalopods along the sea floor and in the middle of the water column and aren't thought to be overly quick like the Great White. You might even even describe them as sluggish. To drive the point home about how absurd these sharks are, they were first described by researchers in 1910 in a hilarious way. The researcher said, the new shark is certainly grotesque, and that it was. Number 13. Aye Aye 
If you had to compare yourself to an animal after being out all night on the town, coming home, not drinking any water, and going straight to bed, that animal would probably be the eye eye. They look like they haven't showered in days and have been up all night. They're certainly one of the strangest squirrel-like primates, that's for sure. Eye eyes are from Madagascar and live in rainforests in the eastern parts. They are solitary, nocturnal animals, and fossil evidence suggests they've been around in some form for about 34 million years, making their way to Madagascar from Kenya. Aside from their long, coarse, dark fur, short faces, large eyes, and long, rodent-like teeth, these creatures also have absurd hands. They have an incredibly long third digit. They have five fingers on each hand, but that extra long finger is not seen on any other primate. It seems like it serves the unique purpose of locating wood-boring insect larvae in trees. They will use this finger to tap on the wood, extract the insects, and even dig out fruit pulp. Like so many other animals in this day and age, eye eyes are unfortunately endangered. Although successful breeding colonies have been established near Madagascar on a few islands, and there are also some in zoos. Number 12. Monkfish I'm curious about what researchers thought when they discovered monkfish for the first time. Given that they are called sea devils, I'm gonna take a stab in the dark here and say they were both intrigued and horrified. Monkfish are Lafayette anglerfishes from the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. There are many different species, and they are all just as ugly as each other. They have large, flat, wide, and depressed heads, and the rest of their bodies really just look like an afterthought. Their wide mouths make up the majority of their head's circumference, and their jaws have vast numbers of long pointed teeth that are angled inward. These fish are pretty smart in how they eat though, as they can depress their teeth temporarily to make sure fish can glide in easily but can't swim back out again. Alongside their unique, huge heads, there's something also quite special about their pectoral and ventral fins. Monkfish can use them like feet, meaning they can casually walk along the bottom of the sea as if that's a normal thing for a fish to do. Sometimes they'll walk along the sea floor, hide amongst the seaweed, and wait for prey to come along. They're not all that picky about what they eat and can swallow something pretty much as big as themselves. This is because they have distensible stomachs. As they can grow up to five feet long, that means they can eat some pretty significant snacks. Number 11. Maribo Stork we are so lucky to share the earth with some pretty beautiful birds. Take the peacock, for example. It has incredible feathers and so many great colors. But the marabou stork is definitely nothing like the peacock. Not to be dramatic, but looking at it does make me feel a little bit sick. The marabou stork is a large African bird from the stork family and the largest of its kind. They grow up to about five feet tall with an eight and a half foot wingspan. It's not their size that makes them unattractive though, it's their faces. While their bodies have lovely gray and white feathers, their heads are bald. They are a pinky red color with this massive inflatable throat pouch positioned under a long straight bill. You'll mostly find marabou storks in Africa, Europe, and Asia, and some species are also located between Florida and Argentina. They live in stocks, except during breeding season, and often hang out with vultures eating carrion. When the time comes to mate, they head off in pairs and build large twig platforms in trees and on rock ledges. They'll lay up to half a dozen eggs within the nests that both parents incubate before the eggs hatch within five weeks. Number 10. Elephant Seal Elephant seals are just so strange looking, don't you think? They're kind of a combination of many different animals and somehow make it work. Elephant seals are ocean-going creatures with no ears that can weigh up to 4,000 kilograms or nearly 9,000 pounds. Both the southern elephant seal and the northern elephant seal were once hunted to the brink of extinction, but their numbers are bouncing back. Northern elephant seals are smaller than southern elephant seals, and they live over the Pacific coast of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The southern seal lives in the southern hemisphere around South Georgia, Macquarie Island, New Zealand, South Africa, Argentina, and even southern Chile. Alongside having no ears, these marine mammals also have tiny limbs compared to their bodies. This helps them to be more streamlined in the water, but it certainly doesn't help them move their massive bodies around on land. That's probably why they spend most of their time in the water and can cover about 60 miles or 100 kilometers each day. Even though southern and northern elephant seals are pretty similar, you can tell them apart. The southern ones tend to be larger, and the adult male northern seals have larger proboscis and thicker chest areas with a red coloration. Number 9. Horseshoe Bat 
Okay, so bats aren't most people's favorite animals right now, but that doesn't mean they aren't an absurd creature worth mentioning. Horseshoe bat is the name given to over a hundred species of large-eared bats that eat insects. They are found in tropical and temperate regions and eat beetles, flies, moths, and other insects. They are only small, grown up to about 4.3 inches long with a tail of under 2 inches. These bats also have strange noses that almost look like three leaf sections resembling a horseshoe, hence the name. While scientists don't actually know for sure why their noses are as weird as they are, they think it might have something to do with their echolocation calls. Although, finding out for sure isn't exactly scientists' priority right now. Instead, they're trying to work out whether they're responsible for our current dumpster fire pandemic. Horseshoe bats carry coronaviruses, many of which can result in contagious respiratory diseases in humans. So far, scientists have discovered that there are quite a few similarities between the coronavirus genomes in these bats and those of SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2. The former was responsible for the 2002 SARS outbreak, and the latter is the virus responsible for COVID-19. These similarities suggest that these coronaviruses may have first come from these bats before mutating and jumping to another animal or directly to us. Number 8. Red-Lipped Batfish most fish you haul in from your local river, lake, or sea have no discernible features, as in nothing really makes them stand out. But if you were to hook a red-lipped batfish, you would definitely know what you had. This fish is noticeable by its red pout, a glorious set of red lips that look like the fish has put on some lipstick just for you. Scientists know a lot about a lot of things, but the red-lipped batfish remains a mystery to them. They don't understand why they have such kissable lips, except that they might possibly help them attract mates or let them recognize their own species at spawning sites. You may not believe me, but this fish has many other unique features that make them look like they're not from this planet. This fish, which lives deep in the ocean around the Galapagos Islands, can walk. Of course, they are swimmers first and foremost, but they're not very good ones, so they use their fins as makeshift legs to walk, or at least waddle, across the sand. They can also use the fins beneath their bodies and their tails to propel themselves through the water at great speed. And if those features weren't crazy enough, red lips batfish also have weird fleshy appendages on their heads known as illicium. These have alluring chemicals that help attract small fish for them to eat. Honestly, does it get much weirder than that? I think not. Number 7. Mantis Shrimp the mantis shrimp is my spirit animal. They barely leave their homes except to eat, and they can be pretty aggressive when disturbed. Same mantis shrimp, same. These carnivorous marine crustaceans are as absurd as they come. They grow up to about 3.9 inches, and some have been seen at up to about 15 inches. They have a hard, thick shell on the rear part of their head, and they can present with beautiful, vivid colors or just a dull shade of brown. It really just depends, because there are about 450 known species. But it's not their coloring or varieties that make them quite strange. They are vicious, even though they aren't very big. They've been described as prawn killers and thumb splitters, because if you don't handle them properly, they can inflict really painful wounds. It may not look like it, but mantis shrimp have incredibly powerful raptorial appendages. They use these to attack, kill, spear, stun, and dismember. They're basically the Swiss knife of body parts. Some species even have clubs, and they use these to strike creatures they want to eat or creatures that want to eat them and don't know any better. And honestly, I wouldn't mess with them because their smashers and spearers can inflict some serious damage to the point where they can obliterate their prey into pieces. Number 6. Mexican Burrowing Toad the Mexican burrowing toad looks pretty ordinary, to be honest. They live from South Texas through to Costa Rica and prefer to live in tropical and subtropical dry forests. Although, you can also spot them in pastures, open areas, roadside ditches, and cultivated fields. They grow up to about 3.3 inches long, and females are larger than males. They are identifiable by their conical-shaped heads, short and globular-shaped bodies, and dark gray to maroon-brown coloring. So they're a pretty ordinary toad. But what's genuinely quite interesting about Mexican burrowing toads is that there's nothing quite like them. They look like a toad, but they are truly rare. They are the only species in the genus Rhinophrenus and are actually genetically unique. 
According to some sources, they have about 190 million years of independent evolution, and they are the most evolutionarily distinct amphibian species in the entire world. Let me put it to you this way. A killer whale, a fruit bat, a polar bear, and a kangaroo have more in common with each other than the Mexican burrowing toad has with any other amphibian. Now that's just insane. Number 5. Anglerfish if you're about to go to bed, I suggest you do so now. Otherwise, you're about to learn about a downright terrifying fish that'll likely invade your nightmares if you give it half a chance. Anglerfish are bony fish found throughout the world. They have a unique way of luring in prey, which is a modified luminescent fin ray that functions as a lure in the water. Fish are curious, so they'll move in for a closer look, only to find themselves sucked into the terrifying, gaping mouth of an anglerfish. Anglerfish are all different, depending on where they live. Some are known as pelagic, which means they dwell away from the sea floor. Others are called benthic, which means they prefer to hang around close to the sea floor. Some of them also live in the deep sea, while others prefer the continental shelf. What I'm trying to say here is you can't escape them. Shallow water, deep water, above the sea floor, on the sea floor, you're in their territory. These predatory fish are dark gray to dark brown and have massive heads featuring equally as giant mouths full of long, fang-like teeth. Some of these fish can be a mere few inches long, while others can be a whopping 39 inches. I don't think it matters how big they are, though. They are scary at any size. Number 4. Malayan Kalugo the Malayan Kalugo, also known as the Sunda Flying Lemur, is a unique Kalugo species. Even though it's called a flying lemur, it's actually not a lemur, and it can't fly, so it's a bit like calling a car a bicycle, to be honest. Malayan Kalugos live in Southeast Asia and glide through the trees rather than fly. They are active at night, spend their entire lives in trees, and eat soft plants to survive, including their leaves, flowers, fruits, and shoots. These unique little critters grow up to about 16 inches long with a 10-inch tail and generally weigh up to 3 pounds. Sunda flying lemurs mostly live alone or in loosely connected small groups. This might be due to the fact that they are quite territorial in where they sleep and forage and don't take kindly to having to share. They will sleep in treetops or holes in the trees and, when feeling threatened, will climb as high up as they can or remain entirely still. If they fall to the ground, they're pretty helpless. They don't know what to do without a tree to sleep in, eat from, and move around in. They are protected by natural legislation, but that doesn't mean they're safe. Locals often hunt them with spears and other weapons for their fur and to eat them. They also face issues like deforestation and habitat loss. Number 3. Venezuelan Poodle Moth even though new species are being discovered all the time, the internet and most general people lost their absolute minds when the Venezuelan poodle moth was found. It was so unusual looking that those who saw it on the internet thought it was fake. Do you blame them? I mean, it looks like something someone dreamed up in Photoshop or maybe a new Pokemon character. The moth was discovered in 2009 by zoologist Dr. Arthur Anker, who comes from a city in Kyrgyzstan known as Bishkek. When Dr. Anker found the moth in the Kanema National Park in Gran Sabana, Venezuela, he took many photos of it. But since those photos have been taken, we actually haven't learned a whole lot about it. What we do know is that it has what looks like white fur with little antenna that look like leaves. It has a set of eyes that look pretty angry and wings that look a bit like those of an angel. See what I mean? It's so absurd, it looks and sounds made up. We also know that they quite possibly live in high-altitude savanna and forests and are about 1.22 inches or 31 millimeters long. We don't know how many there are, where they come from, or whether they're an actual new species. Number 2. Poelophanta Snail Poelophanta snails are probably some you've never seen before. That's because not only are they rare, they are only found in New Zealand. Most kiwis, which are what New Zealanders call themselves, haven't even seen them, and they live there. Poelophanta are huge, air-breathing, carnivorous land snails that mainly eat earthworms. They mostly live in moist forest areas and are endangered or threatened due to introduced mammalian predators. What you may not know about New Zealand is they don't have many fierce animals. That's why something as small as a possum or a rabbit can practically take over and decimate their native bush and food supplies. There are no tigers, lions, bears, or anything of the kind to take control of the animal kingdom. 
Anyway, back to snails. They live in both the North and South Islands of New Zealand and can weigh up to 90 grams, or 3.17 ounces, while measuring about 9 centimeters across their shell, or about 3.5 inches. So they're not exactly small. If given a chance to survive and thrive, they can live for up to 30 years, spending most of their lives buried in leaf litter and only coming out at night. They look pretty harmless, but you won't hear an earthworm saying that. They have tongues that look like they have teeth on them, which they use to scrape chunks of flesh off their prey before swallowing it. So rather than a quick and painless death by swallowing, they are literally ripped apart piece by piece. Number 1. Humphead Parrotfish I'm not gonna lie, out of all the fish I've learned about in my entire life, humphead parrotfish would have to be among the ugliest. Sure, it's pretty fascinating to see that they do look a bit like a parrot, but they have such prominent features, you can't help but be a little bit disgusted. These fish grow up to nearly 5 feet long and weigh up to 165 pounds. They live on reefs around the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and you can generally discover them around Samoa, the Yayama Islands, and north of the Great Barrier Reef. They have a light green to pink vertical head, which is covered in scales, and dull coloration across their whole bodies. Once they mature, humphead parrotfish develop these massive, bulbous foreheads. And if that's not ugly enough, they have these exposed teeth plates with only a tiny portion of their lips covering them. They are truly an absurd sight to see. Surprisingly, they're a slow-growing species and live up to around 40 years old. So even though these creatures are from this planet, they definitely seem like they've come from somewhere else. I mean, the fight of that mantis shrimp just doesn't seem of this world. Have you seen any of these creatures in person? Which one did you find the most interesting? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.